Hi, you're listening to Everyday Superpower, a place where you can learn about body language and nonverbal communication. Keep it plain and simple, let you know how to read the minds of others purely through observing their body language, alright? So click like, click subscribe. If anything comes to mind during the video, feel free to leave a comment. Okay, so today we are going to be covering guiding body language. So if you have a look at the image ahead of you, it's an example as to how you can guide someone or somebody can guide you, okay? So the hand to the lower back of another, okay? Uh, potentially lightly pushing another one's back in a particular direction, okay? Um, you know, when shaking somebody's hand, you may bring them into your space in doing so. And generally speaking, moving people around. But for the most part, we're going to be discussing the guiding of the lower back all right such as we see in the image before you okay so obviously we can look at this in the lens of a relationship or potential uh you know courtship situation or we can look at it as a workplace situation a friendship situation so on and so forth right so what we're doing is we're using a hand to lightly push another person's lower back to move them towards or in a desirable position to us, okay? So uh, they don't have to desire to be there, but it's our intention to move them into that desirable position, all right? Now, this is a way and it is symbolic of dominance. It's a way to create dominance. Why? Because you are controlling literally the actions of others. You are literally moving someone by a degree of force. You might not be pushing them, but you may be influencing them by your touch to move where you want them to go, okay? So it's a power play, plain and simply. Uh, you'll see this as men will do so uh, let's say for example uh, you're at a bar okay uh, you're at a nightclub wherever you want to be you could be in a, a cafe all right and you want to get to the counter to buy a drink all right so you feel well you're with you're with a woman whether or not you're putting her to the front because it's more accessible for you to get a drink first considering she'll probably get served before you or you're just looking after her and getting her into a good position in the crowd of people at the queue. You may do this. You may put your hand on the lower of her back to guide her along and forward, okay? Now, that is a power play. Are you abusing her? Probably not. Are you being the masculine one, playing the dominant role? Yes, you are. So, as far as courtship goes, to be a man, uh, this is a good and potentially sexy means of dealing with things of course you have the connection you have the oxytocin which comes with the touch all right so you have positive hormones expressed through the minds of others given that she is actually comfortable with you and doesn't think you're an absolute creep okay but you should know this by now and uh, yeah we open up that door if it's you know uh, early days in the relationship you open up that door of touch and where does touch lead to it leads to more touching and what does more touching leads to it leads to the right things okay our brain will uh, create positive bonding hormones in regards to that touch in order for us to feel good and want to procreate okay because that's the meaning of it all to procreate and to live as the animal we are right so our brain uh, treats us with feel good uh, positive hormones such as oxytocin and dopamine and so and so on and so forth right so you're guiding another right so if this is done to another man, let's say that these are heterosexuals, yeah? So if it's a man and another man, let's say the workplace environment, yeah? And your boss, more than likely, rather than you doing it to the boss, does this. It's still a power play, okay? And it's symbolic of them having control over you, all right? Guiding you where you need to be. Is it sexual like the earlier uh, um, example? More than likely not, no. But there you go. It, regarding the hierarchical um, instance. Okay, so uh, let's let's switch the roles. If you were to do it with your boss, there's going to be some form of um, discomfort in the communication. Okay, 
they are going to feel uncomfortable of you doing that and it might feel unnatural for you to do that because you are now playing the position of the dominant role. You'll see politicians squabble low-key in regards to who can produce this body language in front of cameras and so on and so forth, all right? Because it is symbolic of the power relationship and the action in itself shows who is pulling the strings, all right? Whether you like it or not. So, when it comes to that, you may think that the boss is doing it consciously. It may be more so, yeah, they've consciously reached out and touched you, but they aren't consciously thinking, I'm doing this to enforce some degree of power. They might just naturally feel that they have a right to do so, okay? You'll find that the boss is more at ease with touching physically the subordinates than the vice versa, all right? Because they believe and they're within a society that deems that appropriate. And that's why you end up having a lot of creepy bosses and a lot of people in powerful positions who feel and actually take action on being invasive within other people's proximities, especially when it comes to, you know, the sexualized abuse of those in particular workplaces, in particular fields, in particular areas, all right? It's a little bit regressive, so it's a throwback to childhood, right? So potentially our parents will do this to us as we are young. And we, uh, you know, have been, we, we, we will have been conditioned, if that was the case, to be encouraged to move with that slight touch of the back, all right, rather than against, because it's a parental position. Once again, it's that position of power, all right? So there you go. If you're not in some form of hierarchy or if you are, what you need to deem if you are in a sexualized sort of position with this individual is you need to observe this as an individual who is trying to take control of you, all right? Trying to take authority of you. And whether you feel comfortable about that or not, that's up to you. But you need to understand and see this behavior for what it is, all right? You know, and that's about it. Click like, click subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment. More on this later. Bye-bye.